Hello Warriors, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shio Obisheson. And today is episode 4 of You Don't Want God Involved, Don't Ask Me. And someone said, I like your birthday motivational speech. It came at the right time. Can you talk more on mentorship? What they called motivational speech, I talk about how it's important for everyone to have a mentor. And also, I strongly believe that one mentor is not enough. So, talking about mentorship, you need to understand who you are as a person. You need to know what your strengths and your weaknesses are before you, you will know if you need, of course, everyone needs a mentor. In what areas of your life you need a mentor for? Mentorship is about guidance. It's about somebody, it's in a simple word, it means someone who've been ahead of you. You want to walk on the same path. But then you realize, hmm, I think someone has been on that path before. Let me go to this person to mentor me. Mentorship is about somebody with more experience. Now, walking through that journey with someone with, that have little or no experience. You want to be a doctor. Then you realize an uncle of yours or somebody that you know is a medical doctor then you go to this person to pull you through on how you can journey so you can become a medical doctor mentorship is not um lifting the process off you but it makes the process a bit smoother faster and there will be less mistake occurring in your journey because there's somebody mentoring you. Obviously, because the, the mentor have made, you know, a couple of mistakes and then putting someone else's through that journey, they know the mistake they've made. They will advise and guide you to avoid making those mistakes. In other words, it will make your own journey as a mentee faster and smoother. And of course, for every mistake, it's going to cost you money. But that's part of success. If you want somebody to mentor you, in what area are you looking for a mentor? Like I said before, if you want to become a medical doctor, you will not be looking for a mentor that is an engineer. Of course, it doesn't, doesn't click. And also depend on what area of your life. So looking for a mentor, it's about, you know, it's, it's a, on an individual base. You cannot say, oh, look at this person. This person should be your mentor. It depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for personal growth, if you're looking for a way to boost your confidence, if you're looking for these areas that it's not really like kind of a career, you need to know who will be your mentor. If you want to become a builder, obviously you look for somebody that's a mentor that have, you know, achieved greatness in that area of building. So not just everybody that's a successful person should be your mentor. What are they successful on? I'm talking about mentorship. It doesn't really necessarily mean that the mentor knows extremely more than you. Sometimes when someone asks you something, that is when you know it. But because you have the experience in knowledge, you'll be able to like, hmm. Like if somebody comes to you to mentor them and you think, oh, let's say you are, you know, you're successful in business and somebody comes to you to be their business mentor. And then you ask them, what kind of business you want to be doing? And someone say, I'm going to be, you know, using my hands to make handbags. Maybe you've never heard that before. You'll be like, mm, 
So it's a two-way relationship. The, the main thing there is just that because the mentor is ahead of you. And as a mentee, you're looking for information. Research can be time consuming. Let's say you want to get married and um, obviously you want to, you know, put things in place. And somebody said to you, because they got married a few years ago, oh, do you need a caterer? Oh, do you need an event planner? Oh, do you need someone to decorate? They already have the contact. If you want to spend your time looking for someone to decorate, you might be talking to 10, 20 people and you might be on that for a month. That is time consuming. So that is how mentorship is. And mentoring should be on a you know, period of time. Maybe you want the person to mentor you for a year or two. You want to get a degree. You need help with getting started. When that mentor have, you know, I, I don't want to say finish up with you. Like when you've achieved what you need, you no longer need a mentor in that area. But you could need a mentor in other areas, if that makes any sense. So mentoring is not um, on a particular thing. It's not like a lifetime process. You want to go to the university is a four years course. After you finish your course, you don't need anybody mentoring on how to get your degree, that degree in particular. So when that phase is finished and done, that mentorship, it's done. Then you need to look at other areas that you want to go on and then look for a mentor. As a mentee, as a mentor, it, it, it should be a two-way relationship. But like I said before, there are some people who are doing so great in their areas of expertise. You know, maybe working in their purpose or stuff like that. And um, they're a bit far away. We can't really reach them. Or maybe they, we can afford them at the moment. So... That is when I said, even if you don't, they don't know you and you know them, you follow them up, you know, you follow them up with the things that they are doing. And obviously that's the area that you, you think you should improve on. And you can check around for um, free courses and even talk to people around you. Obviously there are people who are older than you who have you know, achieve some certain things that you hope to achieve. And even sometimes not really older than you. Your first degree is in mass, uh, mass communication. So, and then you've been practicing. And somebody all of a sudden did social care. The person is younger than you. And then you think, I think I'm done with this mass communication. Maybe I should switch to social care. I want to be a social worker. That person who, you know, achieved that could be your mentor. Even though they are younger than you, it's not age sometimes. It's not age. You cannot know everything. Even if you're somebody's mentor, sometimes there will be a switch where that person will mentor you as well. And the, the thing I love with mentoring is, there is no way you, as a mentor you're talking to a lot of people that you will not learn from them. Nobody's empty. You will learn one or two from those people. So it's about educating ourselves, getting to know new things. So mentoring is something that I believe that um, it's a process that everyone should go through, you know. People will say, my father in the Lord, my mother in the Lord, those are the people that put you right, spiritually. And sometimes we have some extremely close spiritual mentors, you know, that mentors us on that area so that we will not, you know, deviate from the things of God. We we'll stay in track because we believe they are a bit spiritually um, mature than us. 
So know what you want. Know who you are. What do you need a mentor for? Why do you need a mentor? So that you know who should be your mentor. And don't let anybody who doesn't have a mentor mentors you. Everybody should have a mentor. One mentor is not enough, like I said before. If somebody doesn't have a mentor, don't let them mentors you. Because, you know. And then the Bible said, study the word of God to show yourself approved. Because somebody is mentoring you doesn't mean they should be feeding you wrongly. They should be misteaching you. Let's say somebody is mentoring you, mentoring you in the area of marriage and they say, Oh, don't take nonsense from your husband. Oh, don't take nonsense from your wife. You get home. You, you need to know what God says in regard to marriage. You don't just say, oh, my mentor says this. That's what I'm going to do. What if your knowledge is even more superior than your mentor? Sometimes when you don't study properly, you end up, you know, having a mentor that should be your mentee, if you know what I mean. And sometimes we speak because of our experiences, you know, what we've been through. Don't let somebody give you false teaching. You need to know what you're doing. What is God saying in regards to this? Don't just go about looking for mentors. You can have friends, colleagues, business partners and all. But as a mentor, that's your teacher. And a word could put you right or put you wrong. So why do you need a mentor? That will tell you who your mentor should be. If you're still watching up to this moment, um, please like this video so that I'll be able to reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click on the bell notification button so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Please watch this video on your screen.